Hi everyone and welcome back to Tesla and Tech. Just a quick video for you today on the latest software update for Tesla. Let's get into it. So one of the biggest benefits about having a Tesla is that they do over the air software updates. So I was just sat inside and I got an alert from the Tesla app on my phone that my car had a software update available. And that is the 2022 36.5 update. It has now installed, so let's have a look at what the changes are. So as you can see, the software update has happened to my car and you get these release notes after every update so you can see what has changed. So the top left here, you can see that it's the 2022 36.5 update. And the first part of this is the autopilot disengagement at motorway merges. So previous to this, um, there's actually a motorway near us on the A1 where there's three lanes goes down to two, very much like the picture um, you can see on the screen now. And the car would freak out, to be honest. It wouldn't quite know what to do. So I'd always disengage it before getting there just to make life nice and easy. However, the car itself will now alert you of that and disengage itself. So that makes life nice and easy. This one's really exciting. So they're introducing the energy app. So you'll be able to learn more about the vehicle's energy consumption. And you'll now be able to monitor the amount of energy used while driving and parked. You'll be able to see how much energy is consumed by different vehicle components, driving behaviors and environmental conditions. And you'll be able to view the energy used in comparison to trip projection and the battery indicator. So for those that don't know, when you have the sat nav running, it actually gives you a percentage that you should arrive at. Um, so it gives a, a rough estimation based on the roads. It actually uses the wind speed and wind direction and your driving style to work out what you should arrive on. But this will now show you the difference. So actually, if you put your foot down a few times to overtake people, obviously that's gonna go down. So that's gonna be really, really good to dig into. And I think we'll do an individual video on that energy app. The next one is the battery heating performance. So one of the biggest things that I think Teslas have a benefit over other vehicles is how well they condition their batteries. So you know, if you're going on a long trip and you're going to be supercharging, the car will actually precondition itself because it's kind of like the Apple ecosystem where the software and the car and the chargers are all made by Tesla. So the car knows when it's going to a supercharger, it knows there's one available and it starts to precondition its batteries and warm up the batteries for fast charging. But actually the battery heating performance has now been improved as well. So um, what now when driving at motorway speeds with a supercharger selected as the destination, it's gonna even more further improve that battery heating and that preconditioning for fast charging. And this allows you to charge at the fastest rates possible when you get to a supercharger, it's really impressive stuff. The Tesla app has had some improvements, so you can now view additional media player details and the estimated time of arrival to a destination when a route is active from the Tesla mobile app. So that's fantastic. Another feature that the most recent app update gave is the ability to pop open the doors, which I've done a short video on. So a bit like um, the Model X, although not quite as posh, where it doesn't open the door fully for you, it will actually pop the door open, which is amazing. And I've heard that this will work very well when it's cold, and you've got frost on the door and the door might be frozen shut, it'll pop itself open, which is fantastic. So supercharger additional details, to be perfectly honest, I've been so impressed about the information you see on a map when you go into a supercharger. You can actually see how many are available. You can tell if people are waiting, it's fantastic. But now they've redesigned this. So the pop-up within the map in the car will actually give you additional information where available that's associated with that supercharger. So things like charging fees. So that's a nice, exciting improvement. To be honest, I don't use superchargers that much. It's only if we're going on a very long journey um because i'm fortunate enough to be able to charge at work and i have a charger at home so it's very unusual for me to use a supercharger unless as i say we're doing a long journey such as going to uh, paris next month which we're doing car left open notifications so one of my biggest um Worries, to be perfectly honest, as a tesla owner is the car locks itself when you walk away with the phone key and i've actually turned on the um honk sound so that the horn sound to audibly alert me that the car has been locked when I walk away because I am always worried that it's open in the back of my mind and actually they've um, now got car left open notifications so if you leave the car unlocked or if it you know doesn't lock automatically although I've never had that to be perfectly honest it's just a worry of mine you'll now get an alert so that gives me some good peace of mind 
And finally, there is a new language now supported by the car, and that is Lithuanian. So if you are from Lithuania, or you speak Lithuanian, or are learning Lithuanian, you can now turn the car's language, that's everything on the screen, and the sat-nav into um, Lithuanian. So, some exciting changes in this update. Hopefully they've fixed a few of the bugs I've had recently, such as um, the bonnet open bug, um, but some of those changes are really exciting and things that uh, I hope will improve the experience going forwards. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye everyone.